Hello. <clears throat> How's everybody? Well, I want to say now that I, now I have a Jehovah Witness friend, okay? Because my friend came back and we still comment and talk, you know, so that's a conversation. But I know there's no way in the world that um, he, it says he, but I don't know, I think it's more than one person, um, would come back if they didn't have an interest or if they weren't thinking about um, the things that the station is about, you know. But the only thing is, is that my friend, but I know it's more than, and if it's just, what I learned is that if there's one person, that means that there's other people also who feel the same way from my experience. So I know, and I can tell by the numbers, that they, just about the way things happen, there's more than one person. So I do still have my Jehovah Witness um, viewers. However, one of them that comments me, um, after I told, after they called me an apostate, they still come back to me, okay? So there's something there, and I want to thank them for coming back, and I know they're listening to me right now. But my one point is to you, when you say that Jehovah Witnesses are the true religion, okay? Now we're going to clear this up, and then you're going to be over here, and you're going to find some way to stay here, okay? Because, like I said, you know, I believe in God, and I know um, um, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and it's instilled in us. So I know that you'll be able to find it if you ask the right questions, question yourself, and pray to God. There's no way in the world that you can go wrong. Now, is the Jehovah Witness the true faith? Okay. Now, listen to this. Okay. I know you have an open mind because you, you, you come back and you listen and you like my station. And I thank you for that. And I appreciate everybody who comes to my station to listen. So who has the true religion? Is Jehovah Witnesses the true religion? Okay. First of all, religion is a, um, it's man-made. And it's also a place to worship God. It's not for God to worship us. So you have all these different religions, Christian religions I'm talking about because I can't speak for the other religions. But we have a lot of Christian religions. The Christian religions, the own, what their base, what their what their whole point is, is that they, they want their own way to worship God. You know, their different ways of worshiping God together. It's not for God to choose any of them, because it's not. I mean, it's it's um, it's man-made. So it's a way that different ways that we can worship God. But the way we believe God wants to be worshipped. But it's not for God. It's not. A religion is not for God. It's a difference of opinion. And a difference of ways in what we believe in that God wants. But it's basically to serve God. And to communicate with God in some way is to worship God. That's what the religion is for. It's not for God to choose us or a religion because it's man-made, okay? Now, if you say that you're the only true religion, then you have to rewrite the whole Bible because the there's a special... Okay, first of all, when you say you're, you're the only true religion, you're talking about people, okay? Because without people, there's no religion. There's no church, okay? And you don't believe that you're a church. So if you say that Jehovah Witnesses are the only true, um, it's the only true religion, you're actually trying to rewrite the Bible again. Because the only, if you know the story of the Bible, it's very basic, very basic. It was Adam and Eve, they went against God, they lost their favor in God, God continued to speak with them, God found um, uh, then after they went on to Noah, 
okay? Then Noah, then after Noah, it came to, I don't know when this thing is gone. Okay, it's not going to be that long. Okay, um, let's go down to, to, to Abraham. That's what I really want to talk about. Abraham was, God was pleased by Abraham's work in the way he was. So God blessed Abraham. He blessed his Abraham and told him, he just blessed Abraham. Let's just put it that way. So, um, the families that came from Abraham were blessed. That's what God gave Abraham. That was their Israelites. So, the Israelites were blessed because of Abraham. Point blank. Okay? Now, we keep going. And God um, um, brings forth... His son, Jesus Christ. Okay? So, the Israelites are Jews. So, the Jewish people are from Abraham. Because Abraham was blessed. His children were blessed. Which are the Jews. Jesus was um, Jewish which came from the line of Abraham, okay? So right then, it excludes every person or every group saying that they're the true religion because religions are people and God already blessed one lineage, one family. Okay, so... You, no one can say that they're any better than anyone else. They can't say that they are blessed because you would have to have God that blesses you. And it has to be in the Bible. Okay? Now, if you say that you're a blessed religion, then you're making another Bible. Or you're going to start out something new. You would have to show where God speaks to you. But you can't speak to God because you have the governing body. It's impossible communi to listen to the governing body and listen to God also, okay? So the only thing you have to do is you have to say, okay, now, how am how can I have a personal relationship with God, okay? If God tells you, how do you know what he wants you to do when you have in your mind everything that the governing body says you have to do? So it doesn't make any sense to have the governing body as your instructor when if God wants you to do something, you won't be able to listen because God deals with us individually. He doesn't deal with us as like a whole group of people as in one religion. He deals with all of us, okay? But we can use a religion or different religions to worship him, okay? So you can't say that one religion is, um, is the true religion because you're saying that God made you the true religion, okay? And that would mean you would have to speak directly to God and God would have to say the Jehovah Witnesses are the true religion but it can't be because the jehovah witnesses have lies like i said they say that they're no part of the world when they're part of the world they say that they're true religion when the only blessed people the only people that god blessed were the jews it's the only one and then jesus was a jew but he allowed and he made it a possible for the no he not just made it possible he I can't say he made it, he made it possible, but Jew, Jewish people that believed in Jesus gave up their um, their their, their uh, way of being Jewish or whatever, and they mixed their blood with other people, which made Christians. Instead of saying that they were Jews, they just said we're Christians. Okay, so Christianity is in actuality a Jewish religion, which stems from the Jews or the Israelites, which stems from Abraham. Okay, so those are the only blessed people, and they, those are the only people that has a direct 
a direct um, line to God, okay? Um, I would even say that they're, I mean, not that they don't need Jesus, but because they, I believe that Jesus is the Messiah for the Jews when he comes back again, okay? But I don't believe, this is my belief now, I don't believe that God expected all Jewish people to understand about Jesus, okay? First of all, because they already had a blessing, okay? And so all they have to do is follow God's commandments. I mean, follow God's commandments and not so much the Ten Commandments. Yes, that's good, but that was for that time. But as time progressed, they have to listen to God and 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 follow His commandments. Just to say, follow His commandments, whatever it is. So that's kind of, I mean, that's kind of rough draft, but draft, draft. But what I'm really trying to say is, no religion can say that they're any special because there's always there's 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 already a special people. So if you say that you're special, you, you have to say that God spoke to you or God has a direct calling to you or it has to be someone from your from the past. I mean, who started the religion, who was who directly communicated to God and whatever. So you got to understand that there's no true there's no true religion. There's no true people, okay? The only true people, like I said, was the Jewish people from the Bible. But again, that goes with your Bible because your Bible is not really a Bible because, like I said, you change, I mean, you change things in your Bible. Whether they're true or not, you still can't change things in your Bible. I'm not saying it's true. I don't, I mean, of course it's not true. You can't like ch change like a hundred or two hundred words because you want to be called Jehovah Witness. It doesn't work like that. So the only thing I want to say in this tape is that there's no special people. There's no, it's already done. I'm almost sure God knew do you think he didn't know about how people would do that there would be so many different religions and everything? Of course he knew that there would be different religions. Of course he knew that people would think that they were better than others. And that's another thing. A true religion is not going to say that they're better than others, that, they're, that their religion is better than others. They're not going to say that, okay? which is going to put everybody else in an inferior um uh an inferior situation or feeling like they're inferior and that's again the jehovah witnesses way kind of racist kind of tactic to where you say your religion is better better than anybody else and it's just like saying i can say that anything that you could just say off the back of your head without saying god said it then it's it's most likely false. I mean, like you're telling me that the, the true religion is Jehovah Witnesses, but the thing about it is you can't say that without saying that God said that Jehovah Witnesses are the number one religion. First of all, you're, you're trying to use his name. You're trying to use a name for him when you didn't even ask him, can I call you this father? Okay, and not just that, but there's another Jehovah in your Jehovah Witnesses that that you're really worshiping. You think it's God, but it's not God. It's another it's another entity or something, or a fable or something that's fake for some reason. So the only thing I'm trying to say is that you can't have um, it cannot be um, a special people. Okay, that's already done. Okay. Um, that's the only thing I want to say as far as that. I already gave my tape for the Jehovah Witnesses and for the governing body and for the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. And to me, it's very true and very real. And when I speak, I speak from the heart. And I, I, I really, how can I say? Oh, I don't do anything or I don't say anything that I know that, um, 
that um, God would not uh, like. So when you're here, you're in his liking because I go over and over and pray to him as much as I can. I hope you enjoy this, this, this YouTube. The only thing I want to say, there's no true religion. I mean, there's no true religion. Uh, there's something about, there's something about Catholicism that I think is different. I don't think Catholicism is a religion. I think it's a structure because it came from, to me, it came from Jesus. But there I am, I'm saying to me. And when you say true religion, you have to say to you, okay? But my opinions are in my other YouTubes as far as Catholic is concerned. Thank you very much for listening to this one, this YouTube. I really appreciate it. And thanks for coming back. And now you're my friend anyway. You're my friend. So just stick with us and everything's going to work out. But one thing I do like about it, you said God and God. And it felt more powerful. And I noticed that you didn't use Jehovah. So I appreciate that. Okay. But now you think you have your the only true religion. There's no true religion unless you're going to try and write the Bible over again. And you have to you have to say God told you in some kind of way. Where is your power of God? Where, and don't say a scripture because the thing about it is, is that if the scripture, the scripture is not going to say that the Jehovah Witnesses. And it, just because it says what, witness in the Bible, you can't say witness. You can't say, he says, you are my witnesses. It did, did, you can't say that, okay? Okay? Like I said, it's not a Bible. It's put in Jehovah so many times. And one big point is where did your religion start from? Where did your religion start from? Did it start from someone who had a relationship with God? That's the big deal. Like I said, the only point I want to leave you with is religion is a way that us or people can relate to God, to worship God. It's not for God. It's not for God to say, these people are doing so good, I'm going to make them, um, I'm going to make them, I'm gonna give you this, ex I'm, okay, let me just, I'm gonna give you this example, okay? of how the religion is, the Jehovah Witness religion is to me. This is a little story, and I'm old, so I can tell you this little story. I hope it keeps going. Okay, yeah, it's gonna, I'm going to finish pretty soon. I had a, a grammar school teacher. Her name was Miss Cincioni, okay? And she said one time, she, the whole class, she told the whole class, it was uh, fifth grade, and she said, one time I was driving, and these guys, were in the back of me. Uh, it was a black car, some black car. And they kept following me, so I pulled over. And I pulled over, and these guys got out the car, and they go, I want to give you this, I want to give you this certificate. This is Mrs. Cincioni, and she's telling it to fifth grade graders. I want to give you this, um, this award, because you're the best driver that we've ever seen, or the best driver in the world, or the best driver that we've ever seen. So they gave me an award, and that's exactly what she told us. And I believed her, just like you believe everything that the government body, governing body says. But I got older, and as I got older, I understood little by little that she was not telling the truth. Until I got so mature, then it was a joke. Okay, and it, when I was even younger, I was sit, my mother um, um, put us in a waiting room because she went to go see a friend in the hospital, and this lady on the side of me said that she's in the hospital because her head was a watermelon, and I believed her. I was maybe like three years old, three or four years old, and as I got older, it happened little by little. I knew she was lying, and now I know it was just a joke. So think about that. Think about your state of mind now. Keep coming to my station and you're going to keep learning more. I'm not saying it's me. I only tell you things that I prayed about a lot. Thank you very much.